panawagan, I'll ask everyone to follow me. Ang kalsadang ligtas sa bata ay ligtas sa lahat. One, two, three. Ang kalsadang ligtas sa bata ay ligtas sa lahat. One more time. One, two, three. Thank you, everyone! So, ang kalsadang ligtas sa bata ay ligtas sa lahat. Yan ang panawagan ng National Coalition for Childhood Traffic and Injury Prevention. Next, we'll ask our academe, private sector, and civil society partners to please join, but just on the floor. Just on the floor. So, please make your way. Please understanding collaboration, ano? among uh, government agencies, uh, the private sector, uh, and uh, the other uh, safe road safety advocates to see to it that uh, we reduce uh, death uh, due to road crashes. Uh, and uh, the Department of Transportation, uh, we are uh, implementing uh, programs uh, to train uh, especially the children, so give education to the children. So in fact, uh, this morning, uh, binuksan namin yung tinatawag na road safety, uh, road safety building ng uh, land transport office. So, uh, doon, uh, we will invite children from uh, mga school children so, para makita nila yung uh, importance ng road safety. So, Kasi importante ito sa mga bata na aware sila na merong danger sa room. No? Uh, so, isa yan sa mga programs na gagawin ng, uh, ng Land Transportation Office. No? We will also uh, invite other stakeholders, or transporting stakeholders, no? uh, to attempt and uh, see yung aming uh, bagong building dito sa Land Transportation Office. No? And uh, that building is uh, all about uh, road safety. Pinapakita doon yung mga uh, pwedeng mangyari. No? Uh, nandun din, meron din kami mga simulators no? para matrain yung uh, mga drivers no? uh, to see to it na talagang uh, aware sila na dapat na maging mahikap para mabawasan yung uh, death. Uh, Secretary, among the findings of the WHO is that roads, roads are designed such that they favor more the motorists, not the pedestrians. I know this is not within your ambit, it's more of the DPWH, but then you're heading also this infrastructure program, right? So what can you do about it? Given the fact that roads are designed more for motorists and cars rather than pedestrians, narrow uh, sidewalks. Well, uh, uh, what we have done here yeah. further improve your pedestrian and uh, bike lanes that you know, so it that uh, we uh, support and uh, uh, we support the active transport system uh, uh, ito yung mga naglalakas yung mga nagtatrapped by bike not motorized uh, so it's a collaboration uh, with the other government agencies that we will continue to uh, implement
Actually, hindi lang ito. Siguro apat niya. Huwag na natin, basta apat, apat requested. But we understand that uh, they are also, they will also submit the bill by December 27th. Sir, nag nagsimula na yung transport strike to which yun? Anong uh, marching order ninyo sa mga taxi and business school? Well, C28 na merong law and law and order, no? Yung yung enforcement will be continued, no? Siguro makikita nyo naman na wala namang masyadong naging effect to yung strike. Yung two-day strike na ginawa nila, no? Makikita mo lang yung some of them, meron silang hawak mga placards, no? Pero wala namang masyadong naapektuhan na mga pasahero dahil uh, marami pa rin yung nagbibiyahe. Konti lang yung nag-strike. Yeah. So, meaning to say, kasi two weeks po ito, matataon na sa holiday season, ano ang mangyayari? Wala po masakit. Hindi lang mga mga tao haba ng pila po. Kasi grab po, sir. Ang hirap. Tapos wala mga jeep din po sa gabi po. Well, alam mo, uh, ang grab naman, uh, meron sila mga additional uh, maraming pasahero, no? Kaya yung mga jeep ni operators naman natin, although merong strike, may maraming pa na yung nag-operate, no? Yung mga buses natin, may mga nag-operate, no? Yung ating PNVS, yung mga motorcycle taxi ay nandiyan, no? So, sa tingin ko naman, uh, meron din tayong MRT, LRT1, LRT2, no? MRT3, no? And, uh, sa tingin ko ay uh, sapat naman yung mga vehicles na na nag-ooperate dito sa lalong lalo na sa Metro Manila. Sir, nakatap ba siya yung local government doon sa road, road safety program kasi sila rin po yung nakakaanap sa bawat lungsod. Yes, in fact, uh, nandito ngayon kasama natin ang undersecretary ng uh, Department of uh, Interior and Local Government o si Undersecretary Baleto. And uh, napag-usapan nga namin yung importance ng participation ng local government. Sir, may mga signage. Sir, may mga signage. Ano ba? Bike lane. So, nakapuso rin itong bike lane sa kanilang mga single na motor. So, wala pong pangil yung batas na pinapairal ng mga local government. Sabi nila, kikikitan at meron po silang mga local government traffic enforcer. Hindi po na-implement eh. Paano po natin mabibigyan ng safety yung mga kabataan? Nakausapin natin si Polis. Pagkikin natin, i-encourage them So, ginawasap ko na si Undersecretary Pareto kanina for them to coordinate with the local government. Secretary, para mo natin mapipigilin sa dami ng mga motor siglo na karamihan at pamaneo rito o ng lisensya ng kabataan sa Metro Manila, lalong-lalong na sa probinsya, walang hirapin. Ang LTO, meron silang meron silang program ngayon mga track all this mga unregistered uh, motor vehicles. No? Uh, meron ng uh, programa ang LPO at yung, yung tinatawag natin na Special Action uh, and Intelligence uh, Committee ng Transport ng Sanyo. Secretary, tungkol po sa Christmas Exodus na yun, i-expect natin. Ano lang pong order sa mga ayahin siya para in preparation? Well, uh, palagi naman yan. Uh, yung Queen, Queen Christmas, uh, meron tayong uh, directive sa MIAA, sa SAAP, Philippine Ports Authority, ang uh, Philippine Coast Guard. No? To say to it na yung mga infrastructure uh, uh, facilities ng gobyerno ay ready. You know? uh, ganun din yung uh, ating mga enforcement agencies. No? To say to it na uh, binabantayan nila yung, uh, yung traffic situation no? para naman uh, maging comfortable, safe, Uh, and uh, accessible yung uh, transport system natin. Sir, will you be doing inspection? Meron, merong inspection. In fact, uh, itong week na to, ako personally ay uh, umiikot ulit sa mga airports, the seaports, uh, bus stations, and railway stations. Uh, 
para masiguro natin na talagang ready yung ating mga government agencies. Okay. Uh, Punta ka rin po ba tayo ng mga sign-in? Okay, pati ako ng piston at manibela yung PUBMP kaya sila may patuloy na strike. Ano pong sagat? Alam mo, kalapata nila yan. Tignan natin, ay namin yung kanilang mga gagawin. Secretary, there are already 200,000 grab cars on the road and they're adding 10,000 more. Do you think that they're the ones actually clogging and some more than the private cars? Well, hindi naman siguro. Marami talaga mga private cars. And, and uh, yun namang binigay natin sa kanila na permit ay uh, para lang uh, matugunan yung pangangailangan ngayon ng December. Selecting lang doon sa lisensya sa LTO, parang may 4 million ata na license cards na donation ng satuan na ito po galing, sir. Well, uh, actually, wala pa naman. No? Pinag-uusapan pa lang yung donation na yan. No? Uh, meron mga uh, health uh, organizations no? na gusto mag-donate ng mga cards. No? So, uh, hopefully, matapos yung uh, discussion with me this week or next week. As possible, this year gets up before 2021 and answer. Ipalik licensyo na ulit. Plastic card. 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 500,000 available nationwide. No? Uh, and uh, magkakaroon kami yung kinatawag ng early procurement ng card. Uh, hindi ka tulad nung nakaraan na uh, medyo late na tayo ng procure. No? But uh, as early as now, si ASEC Vigor Mendoza is now uh, working with uh, another government agencies. No? Malamang to government to government yung arrangement no? para mas mabilis no? and uh, maging uh, cost efficient po sa yung pagbili natin ng mga uh, ID cards. Under Secretary Anneli Dogto, the Department of Transportation. Under Secretary Serafine Barento Jr. of the DILG. Under Secretary Pinky Rumwandes of DSWD. Under Secretary Rive Escobedo, the Department of Education. Dr. Junior Go, Technical Officer of the World Earth Organization. Chancellor Edgardo Carlo Pistan. Authority Sofia San Luis of the Magic Law. Mr. Roby C, a lead convener of Move as One Coalition. Mr. Eros uh, Suniga, National President of the Safety Organization of the Philippines, fellow road safety advocates, uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen, magandang panghami po sa inyo lahat. Today is groundbreaking for advocates of road safety. As we mark two significant initiatives to promote road safety, focusing on child safety, we thank our partners and other stakeholders who serve as champions of this socially urgent advocacy. We are most grateful to our partner champions from the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, or UNICEF, the Council for the Welfare of Children and Imagine Law, the group of lawyers who advocate for policy solutions to public health problems. I am one with the view of lawyers from Imagine Law who believe child injury due to road accidents is a public health problem. We also want to thank the various government agencies, civil society organizations, members of the academy, the private sector, all those who comprise the National Coalition on Child Road Traffic Injury Prevention. By banding together, this 45-member coalition discovered its strength and focus in formulating and implementing interventions to protect child road users. The goal is for road safety measures to become an integral component of different policy agendas such as child health, 
climate action, gender, and equality. This Memorandum of Understanding formalizes the interagency partnership started last year as part of the global plan calling for special protection for children using our streets. Also today, we launched the Global Status Report on Road Safety that encapsulates the scale of global road traffic deaths and injuries, as well as progress in our efforts in advancing laws, strategies, and policies to reduce road accidents around the globe. This report should be interesting. It is the first comprehensive overview of any progress made after the United Nations <coughs> Decade of Action for Road Safety Year 2011 to 2020 at last. After we aligned the Philippine Action Plan for Road Safety with the Worldwide De Decade of Action for Road Safety, we can now implement and measure developments in local road safety interventions and how to improve implementation of safety measures in the road sectors. The Department of Transportation will have valuable use for the data contained in this Global Status Report to pump into the consciousness of public and private sector officials of the need to protect children from death or injury due to road crashes. The statistics contained in the report should not remain in its pages. We should refocus our efforts at reducing road crashes whose socioeconomic impact is far too disturbing. I want to thank the representatives from the World Health Organization as well as the Department of Health for leading the Department of Transportation for actively promoting safer roads for all users, especially the children. I am also grateful to the different road safety champions from civil society groups and the academy whose contributions to this advocacy cannot be diminished. This is a classic example of collaboration between various sectors to create impact in saving children's lives and effect meaningful change. I hope our crusade will not waver. I pray we will be able to save more lives. I wish all children will be safe when using roads. Thank you for the intensity of your enthusiasm. Again, good afternoon. Thank you very much, Secretary for that strong message of support. hindi lang sa magpapatupad ng mga batas ng road, road safety, pero talagang magtutulong-tulong para sigura, siguraduhin na ang ating mga kalsada ay ligtas para sa ating mga kabataan. Um, na, kasi ang kalsada, hindi lang isang ahensya ang nagmamayari. Uh, madalas may eskwelahan dyan, uh, madalas MMDA, PNP, iba-iba yung mga nag-e-enforce. Uh, Kaya namin nakita na kinakailangan talaga ng pagtutulungan ng iba't ibang ahensya ng gobyerno. So, ano pa yung suggestion niyo, ma'am? Kasi you've mentioned kayo na gusto niyo para may design sa mga pedestrian. Oo. Oh, oh. So, siguro familiar naman tayo sa mga eskwelahan, no? Pagdating sa national highways natin na yung mga bata pag tumatawid, talagang patintero with buses and trucks. So, gusto po namin na ang mga lokal na pamahalaan uh, makipagtulungan sa DPWH para i-redesign yung mga kalsada around the schools para ito ay maging safe. Maglagay sila ng pedestrian, uh, pedestrian lane, maglagay ng mga signages na may bata para visible sila sa mga trucks. Gawin nilang slower ang mga speed sa mga kalsadang ito at talagang ipagpatulungan pag nila yung mga speed limit sa mga kalsada. Bago pa lang kayo nag ano, no? speed limit? Meron na pong 40 na LGU actually na nag-enact ng speed limit sa Pilipinas. Um, pero hindi pa sila nagpapatupad. Uh, kaya kami nananawagan kami na uh, itong mga LGU na to at ang LTO mag-procure na ng speed guns. Kasi matagal na naman ang speed limit doon natin. 1954 pa siya naipasa. 
pero hindi pa na, na ipapatupad dito sa Pilipinas. Oh, for villages and school areas. For, um, for, for school zones, dapat 30 kilometers per hour um, to 20 kilometers per hour, depende kung ano yung classification ng kalsada. Pero minsan may mga national highway tayo, ang expectation ng mga sasakyan, 80 kilometers per hour ang takbo nila kahit na may eskwelahan. Dapat ibaba ito to 20 kilometers per hour. talaga may mga enforcers around school zones para masanay ang mga driver na i-share yung kalsada sa mga kabataan. Overpass. Kasi na para magastos yun. Hindi, hindi po kami naniniwala na kailangan ng overpass. Kailangan po at grade or nasa sa hit mismo yung mga pedestrian lanes para matrain yung mga driver na alam nila na may dadaan doon sa kalsada na yun. Kasi kapag naglagay ka ng overpass, iniisip ng mga driver, sige, okay lang magmabilis dahil walang ibang dadaan. Kaya ang nire-recommend namin at grade, except of course sa controlled highways o yung mga may toll na highway natin. Ganito po tayo. Let's have our initial link on each page. And then once you are done affixing your full signature on the last page, Please pass the copy to the right. official to make sure you have a copy with you for our photo opportunity. Please hold up the copy one sign. Thank you. Government officials, maraming salamat po. Wait lang, wait lang po. Then we will ask our government officials, please leave the MOUs on the table. Thank you very much to our friends from the media, the government, the academe, the civil society and private sector. Maraming salamat po.